you know, I'll admit it, I'm, I'm pretty washed up when it comes to the, the track and the times I've run in the last couple years. My name is Spencer Brown, and I have been a serious runner my entire life. In high school, I was a nationally ranked runner in the 1500 and the 800. I was recruited to Georgetown University, a D1 program. At Georgetown University, I became an All-American, I was a team captain, and I finally achieved my lifelong dream of breaking four minutes in the mile. After Georgetown, I was recruited by a professional track club called the Brooks Beast Track Club, one of the best in the country, and I had the honor of racing and training with the athletes on their team for a year-long contract. So you get it. I've been a serious runner my entire life, but for a while now, I've been living like a runner who trains like they do in college and lives like they do in college. And I feel like something in my life needs to change. I'm not even sure if I'm making this video for myself or if I'm making it for you. Really what I'm just going to be doing moving forward is I'm just giving myself permission to be happy and to have fun with what I'm doing without giving myself pressure to try to perform and put pressure on myself to train for the same events I've been doing. There's just so much more to the sport than just those high level track events. And by all means, I'm gonna continue to do track workouts. I'm gonna continue to train hard. You can check it out on Strava, but I'm probably not going to be, I'm not going to be posting that stuff on my YouTube channel moving forward. I feel like I owe it to you guys and I owe it to myself, honestly, more than anything, to just follow my heart and, and do stuff that makes me excited, makes me want to post YouTube videos. And you guys have already seen a lot of it. And I'm finally starting to run again, but I might try to hop in some races soon and, and not really care how it goes, but just more so have fun with it and just see where that takes me. So expect to see so much more content that isn't super stressful and super grind motivated. I, I don't want my content to be so dictated by how my running career is going because I want to be able to share with you guys even more content, but sometimes I feel like I can't do a race because I'm not fit enough or I can't do a certain event because I'm not specifically fit for that event. And I, I tie a lot of just what I'm doing into just chasing the mile or just chasing track stuff. And I just don't want to do that anymore. Guys, I've, I've been a serious athlete since like third grade in the track world. And it's just really hard to get out of that bubble. And I finally want to take a chance and get out of just that bubble of doing the same general type of training to try to run an arbitrary track time that really doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. When I look back, I've, I've kind of achieved all that I would like to time-wise on the track anyway. And that doesn't mean I don't want to achieve more. Don't get me wrong, you should always try to achieve more in your life, but I feel like I need to take a chance and, and actually do things outside of the one thing I've done always. I feel so comfortable just putting out workout videos, training for the same track events, but I've had a lot of time to reflect and finally kind of take a step back from what I have been doing over the last six weeks because I've had an injury. You know, I haven't had an injury this long ever and it's been really honestly nice to just not be focused on my day-to-day -day training and have to focus on other parts of my life. Thankfully though, I have been able to maintain my fitness pretty well because I've been using my Coros Pace 3 watch, which really helps me monitor my efforts properly. I've been also using the Coros heart rate monitor that goes right on your arm to help me in the pool while I'm aqua jogging, while I'm biking, and while I'm on the elliptical. Don't get me wrong, I do not like cross training, but the Coros Pace 3 watch and the heart rate monitor have helped me immensely with getting my efforts down correctly because if you don't know what type of efforts you're putting in while cross training, you're gonna probably slack off. So. I'd highly suggest you guys taking a look at the Coros Pace 3 watch or the Coros heart rate monitor. They're both phenomenal devices and I use them literally every day and they're perfect for cross training activities as well, just to monitor your efforts and make sure that you're in the correct zones while you're cross training. So thanks to them, I actually am in still pretty good shape, but I think it's about time you guys actually, you know, know the, the real Spencer, not the athlete special, because there's a lot more to me than just being this serious runner and really i just need to let go of my own ego and finally move on and start to allow myself to be happy to have fun and not be so stressed about the day in and pay out of training there's a lot of movement going on in my life right now behind the scenes and i don't want to speak too much but we're planning on potentially a big move pretty soon to a pretty exciting spot 
So there's plenty more fun running content coming and I'm really, really excited to actually give a solid go to other events on the roads, such as like the 5K on the roads, the 10K, half marathon, even marathon. But you're not gonna see me grinding in front of the camera the, the way I have been. I'm gonna be doing that more behind the scenes and I think people forget oftentimes that you can be super serious about running, but you don't have to have that serious persona all the time. People think that the better you get at running, the more fun it gets, but I know people who are beginners who are just as happy or more happy than professional runners, and I've seen firsthand that, you know, the super serious side of running, the, the professional scene, most of the runners go through very dark periods of time for most of their, their careers, so there's just so much sadness that comes with running at every level and I just wanna build a community of people that want to feel positive about the sport and feel good about it and, and not be just so tied down by the negatives that come with the sport. At the end of the day, like, you know, I'll admit it, I'm, I'm pretty washed up when it comes to track and the times I've run in the last couple of years. But that's so, that's so stupid that I even say that because someone else much slower than me would, would think that I'm phenomenal at running but I don't think of myself as that. And that's just the problem right there. Like, why is my self-worth so tied into the, the sport and my performance? And I think it's honestly a bad message to spread. And I, I feel like I've almost subtly been spreading the wrong message for years and to where like, I have this weight holding me down. And I just need to let it go. Even through the last years, I've, I've had a lot of struggles. I haven't run as many PRs as I used to. And I've been struggling in, in all of my favorite events, but I always told myself that one day you're gonna fall out of love with the sport and then you can finally move on and do something else with your life. But I have come to the realization that I will never not be in love with the sport of running which is awesome to finally have clarity on that. I see it as my responsibility to build up this positive community, grow this community, and spread the positive message of running, not the toxic performative message that you have to always grind. And don't get me wrong, I love grinding. I love all that stuff, but I know now that this is what I want to be doing with my life. This is what I want to be doing moving forward. Spreading the message of running and spreading my love for the sport in any way I can that will make people have a smile on their face is literally what I want to be doing. And at the end of the day, guys, there's more to running than just running itself. With that, thank you guys for sticking around on this journey and just being such an awesome community. And we'll see you soon.